Casper is reaching all time highs right now. So you're probably one of these few people. You're in Casper, you're up 10, 15, 20x, and you're thinking, okay, bull market isn't here yet. Maybe I should get out now, dollar cost averaging later. Or maybe you're thinking, is it the right time to invest? You're binge watching videos and you're like, okay, you know, when is it the right time? We're about to pass all time high. And maybe it's overvalued. Or maybe you're this person. You're listening and you're thinking, what coin are you even talking about? Well, I'm gonna answer all of those questions in this video. Now, first things first, Casper right now is up 25X, right? That's 2,567% since July, right? It's conception in July. It was a fair launch token. There's no private sale from, from what they say. And since then, it's done nothing but go on an absolute projectile run. The space at the moment, there are so many micro influencers talking about this token, not many major influencers speaking about it, but it has became a trend. And as you guys know, in crypto, the trend is your friend. And wherever there is attention, there is time for money. Currently, we are sitting at almost a $1 billion market cap right now. The volume is absolutely amazing. And the circulating supply is almost fully uh, liquid, right? It's 71%. So I'll be interested in seeing Casper's uh, distribution cycle, which I'll probably check out on the white paper. I don't want to go through the white paper because it's probably going to bore most of you guys. I just want to know, uh, what do I buy? When do I buy it? Okay. But you can check it out for yourself by going to coinmarketcap.com forward slash currencies forward slash Casper, clicking the white paper option here. Now, one interesting thing that's just happened though as well, just before I was about to record this video, is Casper's website is also down. I don't think it's hacked, I don't think it's anything crazy. I just think it's just development. You know, these guys, they probably wasn't expecting to go this viral, in all honesty, right? Now, the token itself uh, is based upon the GHOST DAG protocol, which is a generalization of Bitcoin's consensus and is aiming to be the fastest, purest proof of work consensus. Now, if that sounds like gibberish, then my friend, you need to do some studying, right? If you check out the playlist I've got pinned down below, I've got a crypto playlist on my channel and there you'll get free education on everything you need to know. In fact, I will show you guys right now, so stay with me, brief intermission. I'm gonna show you just how valuable uh, this playlist actually is, right? I made a, I think it's like a five part series all going into the different things about crypto, breaking down everything, uh, and you can just hop in and learn it for free, right? You learn about uh, cryptocurrency for beginner basics, private sales, you'll also learn about uh, how to design a portfolio, how to get around tax, uh, how to stay up to date with the legal side of things, um, pff, literally everything, right? ICOs, IDOs, staking, yield farming, the whole shebang, you will learn in this video. So that's gonna help you with videos like this, right? Because it's all good and well being a moon boy and being like, right, let's jump into this token and let's get involved. But believe me guys, I've invested in over 40 private sales. I manage uh, my own portfolio of funds and I have to always learn. And I'm still learning to this day. I'm always learning about new things and staying up to date. And if you don't, it will cost you money. Now, Casper price prediction. Okay, where do I think that this token is going? Well, the best thing to do when deciding about price predictions is number one, look at the exchanges. Not many people do this, right? It's quite often that tokens aren't available in certain places and sometimes you have to think, if this is a new token, it's been around since July, what exchanges are gonna be looking at this volume and thinking, hmm, we can make some juicy fees from this, right? Number one, it's on KuCoin, Gate, Bybit, which, the link is in the description for Bybit. Uh, BitGet, again, links in the description uh, for that as well. And Coinex, right? It is missing a platform called Binance, right? Binance, but it's listed on every single platform, which means to me, it's got the potential to get a Binance listing, uh, which is obviously the biggest exchange out there with more volume. So it does have the potential to get hit with some more, uh, some more volume and some more uh, momentum as well. The social media right now is popping off. Right, 161K uh, views on some of these things. I don't think they're doing growth hacking or any types of uh, pretty much anything. Um, you can see it launched on the 6th of May. 
uh, is when it launched on KuCoin. If we go back here, look on the 6th of May, just to give you guys an idea, is you could be up about two or three X if you bought on KuCoin at the time. I wish uh, I bought on KuCoin at the time, right? Nice little three X. And uh, overall, it just seems like they're just pushing this, uh, this narrative of getting listed on more and more and more exchanges. Obviously the website's down, so I can't show you the, the technology and the use case of, uh, of the actual project. But what I can tell you is that, uh, see if it's loaded, nope. What I can tell you is that they do aim to be uh, the fastest proof of work consensus out there, right? So they're just trying to be uh, more scalable and add more use to the actual blockchain. Now, interestingly, if you guys watched my last video, right? What token was we talking about? Uh, we was talking about XLM. Right now, they're not really and truly similar. Right? They're not really truly similar. This would align more with another um, with another layer one or layer two out there. However, this can give you kind of the idea of what can actually happen to Casper. Right, right now, XLM's market cap is about three billion dollars right at the moment. Um, again, right, less uh, tokens in supply than Casper actually. But what's interesting is you can see. It's at a $3.7 billion market cap. If we also go back and we look at the, uh, the actual list and we look at, okay, you know, where's the potential that we can go to? Well, I reckon we can get about this $3 billion range. I mean, Shiba is $4 billion, right? And nobody cares about Shiba anymore. Literally, nobody cares about it. So, yeah, I can say about that, right? But let's see if we can find Casper. Let's see, it's K A S on here. See what level it's on. Might even be on page two. Uh, but regardless, my find is not working right now. But I reckon it can get to about a three billion or four billion dollar market cap, right? I do think that we'll see some price decline though, right? If we have a look at Casper again, I do think that we it's not gonna be anything, you know, it's not gonna be one of those tokens where it's just gonna keep going, keep riding, right? I know everybody wants it to just fly, right? But it's not the case, right? As an overall crypto space right now, we don't have enough interest in it, right? Google Trends right now, interest at all time low. Uh, private sale investments, seed round investments, venture capital investments, angel investments, all time low right now. Uh, news and social media, all time low right now. You know, they're talking a little bit on CNBC. So what I will be doing is this. I'll be adding Casper to my watch list, right? If I was in Casper right now, I'd probably be selling because it, the risk to reward right now, if I brought over here in 2023 early, my risk to reward here is only three X more. So let's say you got 20 grand here, you're sitting down and you're thinking, okay, I make two grand a month, I've got a 20 grand portfolio, that's a year's worth of investment, and also early stages in the market, right? If we look at uh, BTC Harbin right now, we're still a while away from BTC. So Bitcoin can still be volatile, it can still crash. Right, if we look at the price right now, you know, this is why I recommend all of you guys save this video, screenshot this, uh, this post, and just add these little lines here, right? This is your range, low range, high range, right? It's all the higher lows, higher lows that we've been talking about on this channel. Right? If you save that, this will give you some chances to understand where we're going in the market, right? But Bitcoin could still crash right now, right? You've always seen this, FTX, uh, has approved to sell all of its Bitcoin, Solana, and Ethereum, right? It might not impact the price uh, directly, but it reduces confidence in the market. So when you get these amazing coins, guys, and if you're involved in it, congratulations. If you're not, add it to your watch list. But if you are looking at this, you're thinking, okay, you know, what's next? Well, you probably got a free 4X max left, and that's if everything goes right. The website's already down on the token. Right, so what I'll be doing would I'll be taking out my initial, taking out some profit, and then looking for other tokens to buy where I can get these same gains again. Because you're not going to get 100x, right, on Casper. You're not going to get 50x, 20x, right? But you will at least have a 3x more, so it's that risk to reward. And guys, if you're thinking, should I get involved? Next levels, I'd simply just wait, and I would wait until BTC has another capitulation, which is likely it will do, a capitulation, guys is when you get big volatility, right? I'll draw it out for you. So you, we've all seen these days where Bitcoin goes like that and then one day it just goes, thanks, right? Those types of days, right? These types of days over here, right? This was a capitulation, was on support, right? And in one day, 
right? Bitcoin crashed, boom, right? During these times is when you should be looking to buy coins. So on another day, if that happened, right? Let's say we just decide to drop down, which anything can happen in this space. Then you start to go to your watch list, you look through and you will see dips like this, right? Dips like this, boom, dips like this, right? And that's when you can catch something on a rally and kind of ride it out and make some gains with the momentum, okay? Because the only reason why a coin like this will get pulled back right now is a Bitcoin dip. Okay, so hopefully that explains to you what is Casper, just a little bit, okay? You can go check it out on Twitter. It should also explain to you guys, should you be investing right now? What would I be doing? I'd be sitting on the back burner right now and I'd be like, okay, let me just wait a little bit because there's not much gains to be made here. Okay, especially with the market cap so high and websites down, social media, they've got nothing, much, pretty much done everything, right? The only next thing they can go on is Binance. And everybody knows, usually when you get listed on Binance, crash, right? Hype, doesn't ever match it, right? And also the long term for Bitcoin right now is it looks like we bounced off support. We could be balancing around here, um, but again, right? We're still way, way, way out from BTC halving. Now, I hope that explains everything for you guys. Hope that answered your question and that's why you clicked on this video. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is where I show you guys how to make money online completely for free and invest the profits. Currently, we've got a brand new business which we've been documenting on my business partner's channel. We're doing 1.8K a month profit in just one month. And just like that, we'll be able to reinvest and reinvest, get that business up to five, 10, 15, 20K per month like we've already been doing and invest the profits to show you guys that you guys can do it too. So thank you very much for tuning into the video. 